According to a 2018 report from World Resources Institute, Ghana's rainforest is being lost at an alarming rate. A Global Forest Watch estimates that there was a 60% increase in Ghana's primary rainforest uh, rainforest loss in 2018 compared to 2017, the highest in the world. The second highest was uh, neighboring Cote d'Ivoire with a 28% increase. Together, these two countries produce nearly 60% of the world's cocoa. The Democratic Republic of Congo, however, lost the largest size of tropical primary rainforest in Africa. In a 2016 report, the Forestry Commission a government agency said nearly 80% of Ghana's forest resources under state management had been lost to illegal logging activities since 1980. Uh, 1990, I beg your pardon. The biggest threat is illegal small-scale mining known locally as Galam say. Now, local environmentalists fear the 23,000 hectare Etiwa Forest Reserve in Ghana's eastern region uh, will be under threat of deforestation after the government agreed to a two billion uh, US dollar deal with China to exchange bauxite for infrastructure projects in the first of many similar uh, resources for road deals to uh, come. We're joined in the studio by uh, Daryl Bosso. Daryl is a member of the coalition of uh, on governmental, non-governmental organizations and concerned citizens against mining in the Etiwa forest. I thank you very much uh, for thank you very much. your time. So you. uh, the rate at which uh, the forest, we're, we're losing forest. I mean, it's clear everybody should be yeah. worried, but yeah. uh, you and the movements that you are part of have uh, demanded that there should be a complete stop to mining in the Etiwa forest. I want to know uh, what grounds your fears? I, I shouldn't be asking this with these reports, but yeah. locally, uh, there must have been fears you have, which is making you demand that we should stop mining or making incursions into the Tiwa Forest. Yes, actually, and also when you, when you read your narrative, you talked about illegal activities from Galamse contributing to destroying our forests. One of the other things that we've realized is also significant when you're talking about threats to our forest reserve is sanctioned legal mines, like the one we are talking about for that is also intended to happen in Atua Forest. And anytime we listen to how GAIDEC and the executives are talking about how they want to do this mining, it gets us very, very worried. If you look at what they claim they want to do, what they say they would do, as against the actions on mm. the ground, is totally contradictory. And that is where our worry is. You say you want to do responsible mining, but we've not seen anything responsible in the process leading up to that. Mm. And that is where we are concerned about. Again, you don't go doing mining. Responsible, responsible mining starts with you doing mining in areas that are really compatible. One of the areas in this country where no extractive mine activity is compatible with is that our forest reserve. A watershed, a habitat of several diverse biodiversity, known to be harbor of over a hundred endangered species, water bodies providing a water service for over five million Ghanaians. I do not see why anybody in their wildest dream of planning for financial sustainability would think of doing this. But, but that's Going exactly, that's exactly the, the next question I want to ask yeah. you. The MB for, uh, the managing director for yes. the Ghana Integrated yeah. Aluminium Development yeah. Authority, yeah. Uh, which has been engaging media yeah. recently on its activities, has assured that there shouldn't be any concerns with the Etiwa Forest, as there will not be any uh, forest degradation in the Etiwa Forest as a result of any mining activities. So that assurance Assurance, I say, is just a fake assurance. We can't rely on that assurance. What we needed in terms of assurance to really take his word for it is that when, if they had done an environmental impact assessment, that would have given us the assurance that, look, you can rely on these guys. But so far, like I said, they say something different to appease the media, appease the public, sell something that they know is very bad for the ecological integrity of the forest reserve, and do something else. Let me tell you, he put out some figures out there yesterday, and I asked myself, if you really look at the area he says Gardek is going to touch, if you look at the size of it, it's actually less than a tennis court. How realistic is that? I mean, if anybody has been looking at the figures he's put out, it's something you are just going to laugh at. I'm really asking myself, do they really have a clue 
what are you talking about? Again, yesterday he made a mention that they are going to bring technology of mining in Australia. That is happening in the Jara Forest. Jara Forest in Western Australia is a forest just made up of eucalyptus trees. Atua is not a forest of just one tree species. It has one of the most diverse ecosystem of trees and also numbers of trees anywhere else in this country. So you think there is some so misrepresentation and so here? There is, and what? also, yes, and I think that they also misled in terms of the information they put out there. And because I, I feel that we, I mean, that's why most of the time I find it very sad that they are having engagement with people and also they talk to people who they realize that these people might have information, but they don't have complete information. They go continuously telling them. To, they never invite us to any meetings they have. They avoid actually engage with us. And if they want to engage with us, they wait till that tomorrow. If they have a meeting tomorrow, they call you to say, look, let's meet tomorrow. We want to discuss it. This is where the problem is. I really don't believe in the assurances they have given. The evidence of what they are doing now shows that these guys are not committed to anything responsible mining. So the evidence of non-commitment is louder than the assurances. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You think exactly. that the assurances exactly. are not based on exactly. actual facts Ex to at show all. that they are at committed. All. Mr. Bosu, we're grateful for your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you extremely so uh, for yeah. joining us. Uh, Daryl Bosu, you heard him there. This is still Midday News Live from our studios at Adesawe Kanda. If you are on Facebook, you can follow our live stream on Facebook. Uh,